right side of Arizona. 20 seconds. I can do uh, it. Blast, and then we'll come in, then we'll come back. Let's go. End of the show. Let's go. Wow! Get excited, Arizona! And thank you for tuning in to the Michael Crawford Get Excited Show today. I am Michael Crawford, along with my guest, Dr. Chris Salvino, who's running for fifth congressional seat in the United States House of Representatives. Let's get into your health plan about you know the defense medicine. I was really intrigued with that. So let's tell all, you know, let's really break it down for everybody. Sure. Uh, America, we use something called defensive medicine. Doctors do it almost every day. They do defensive medicine, which is not good medicine. Defensive medicine is doing extra tests above and beyond what's necessary to cover yourself because you feel like you might be sued. Example, you come into the emergency room with pain in your right lower part of your belly and a temperature, more than likely you have appendicitis. Now, in Mexico, where they practice medicine too, they would just take out your appendix, even if they have a CAT scan machine there. They're practicing what I would call good medicine. Defensive medicine, we go above and beyond that. But in America, if you're an American citizen, you live in Indiana and you want to go to Arizona, you cannot take your insurance across state lines. And insurance companies, health insurance companies, are exempt from the antitrust laws. What does that mean? Consequently, many states only have two or three insurance companies that you can pick from. That's a problem. It's not really a free market system. It's, it's yeah, totally not. You really have minimal choice. Right? Yeah. But let's get into the meat of Obamacare. Because I just really feel, okay, that it's not really what it's cracked up to be. It's very evil. So that's why I want you to go deep with all my proper get excited viewers and tell them now, why do politicians want it? Another layer of government, bigger government, which is, is that what the Constitution suggests, bigger government? No. So this is actually going in the opposite direction of the Constitution. Another layer of government, more spending, more money, more bureaucracy at the end of the day, doesn't address the fundamental problem, which is cost. It doesn't make health care any better. 